Dear Math Enthusiasts, Welcome to Gifted Academy Tutor's YouTube channel. Whether you're a student, a learner, or an expert looking to strengthen your math skills, you've come to the right place. Our latest video series focuses on Grade 12 Calculus and Vectors, MCV4U, specifically on the intriguing topic of limits. The content is designed to cater to learners of all levels, from beginners to those seeking to reinforce their mathematical prowess. In Part 1, we will explore 1.3 limits, where we'll dive into the significance of limits in calculus and learn how to evaluate them with confidence. We'll cover one-sided and two-sided limits, providing you with practical examples for better understanding. In Part 2, we'll delve into 1.4 limits and continuity, connecting the dots between limits and continuity, and how they shape our understanding of functions. Our mission is to make these fundamental concepts accessible to everyone, Clear explanations and real-life applications are the pillars of our teaching approach. So, if you're ready to embark on a journey of mathematical discovery and growth, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Whether you're a student gearing up for exams or an expert seeking to expand your knowledge, Gifted Academy Tutors is here to support you every step of the way. Join us now for Lesson 2, Limits and Continuity. Happy Learning! We are starting here our topic, limits. So, the topic of this lesson is limits. If we use a notation, The notation limit x tends to a fx is equal to l. We can read it as the limit of fx. As x approaches a equals l. So when x approaches to a, the fx approaches to l. It is called the limit. If you if you want to understand it using a graph, we can take we have some function. It is a continuous function. This is x, this is fx. So, if this is some value a, as we approaches to this value a, the function will approach to this particular value. We can say this is value a. As we go from this point towards A, the function will approach from this point to this point. Whether we can say this is some A minus, it is slightly less than A and this is some A plus, slightly more than E. If we approach from this point to a point the function value approach from some value to the limit value or the value of function which is at a so a positive and a negative are the slightly more or slightly less value 
so if we take an example if a is equal to 2 so we can take a positive is slightly more like this or 2.0000 and a negative is slightly less we can say it is 1.99 so these are very adjacent to the a value this is for example now we can take the condition when limit is exist for a function so lim So limit extends to a fx exists if if the following three criteria if three criteria are met then only limit exists the first criteria is limit x tends to a minus so it is when a is a minus is slightly less than the a fx it exists second limit x tends to a plus a positive means slightly more than a fx exists and these two limits are equal limit x minus fx equal to limit x a positive slightly more than a fx are equal if these three conditions are met then we can say the limit exists for that function for when x tends in to a so the oh, these three criteria should match for finding the limits now we are taking one example in this we have for a function fx in the graph given below so we have a graph given for a function and we have to determine the following values the first is the limit x tends to minus 2 positive okay so we are looking for the part 1 so in the a part we have to go for the x minus 2 positive so here we have the point minus 2 this one is the x is equal to minus 2 and for x minus 2 positive means we are going slightly more slightly more to the x positive so the value of minus 2 positive it will be the similar to the what is the value of the function at minus 2 because it has the zero value function is zero at x is equal to minus 2 and if we go x equal to minus 2 plus 0 0.00001 so it also the function value will also tends to 0 because it is 0 f of minus 2 is equal to 0 so the value of x minus 2 positive will be 0 also 
and for p x tends to 2 minus so if you look at the 2 here at 2 minus it is slightly less than 2 if you look 2 2 minus is slightly less than the 2 so the value of the 2 minus will be this one will be 2 and in the C part we have limit x tends to 2 positive fx if we go slight higher side of the 2 this side so we will have this value of the function which is minus 1 So, x limit x tends to 2 positive will be minus 1 and the d part what is f of 2? f of 2 basically contains this value because if you look it is the empty circle and this one is a dotted means the value of function is this one at the 2 so f of 2 is 2 so if we look at this function this function has different value for x negative and different value for the x positive hope you understand this now we are moving to another example here we have to determine the following thing the a part is the value of function when x tends to 4 minus value of function when x approaches to 4 plus and the limit of fx when x approaches to the 4 and the value of function if we look at the graph you can easily see that the function when x is 4 the value is minus 2 so the a part we can say when x approaches to 4 minus the value of fx so when we are adjacent to the 4 which is very close the value is similar like minus 2 in the b part when we are adjacent here 4 positive it is slightly more than the 4 the value is similar as minus 2 in the c part when the function has the value 4 if you look at the value 4 we easily get the point minus 2 and the value of f4 is also minus 2 so all the values are minus 2 so we can say the limit is minus 2 because as limit x approaches to minus 4 fx equal to limit x approaches to x 4 positive fx is equal to minus 2 so limit x tends to 4 fx is equal to minus 2 this is what we studied before here if a minus exists a plus exists so we can say 
and both are equal so we can say the limit exists and the limit is the value for the both so this is the example of that now for more point if limit x tends to a minus fx is not equal to limit x tends to a plus fx then limit x tends to a fx does not exist this is the extension of the previous part so if we look at here in this example we have the x to minus and when x approaches to 2 plus both are different so limit x tends to 2 fx does not exist. Why? Why doesn't exist? Because limit x tends to 2 minus fx is not equal to limit x tends to 2 positive fx these two values are not equal so limit does not exist